Hi, this is David Frain, the editor of Tools of the Trade magazine. Today I'm going to show you what's inside this PLS HVL100 line laser. But before I do, I'm going to show you why it's different than most other line lasers. This is a Spectra Precision 5.2 XL, and like most line lasers, its diodes are attached to a pendulum that levels by gravity. The diodes in this device are leveled mechanically by a pair of servo motors. I'm going to turn them on so you can see how they work. Now you might be wondering why it would matter why, how the beams come to level. Well, if you were on a job site and there was a compressor or a table saw nearby, it could cause enough vibration to make the beams jump around. To demonstrate that, I'm going to pound on the table. Before I do, I want to remind you that the lower line is from the laser with the pendulum and the upper line is from the laser with the servo motors. As you can see, the line from the laser with the pendulum is jumping around, but the one from the laser with the servo motors is steady. Okay, now it's time to see what's inside. The laser beams are produced inside these black cylinders that are mounted to a block of metal. I'm going to turn the beams on so that you can see them. It might take a second for them to come to level. The servo motors are here and here. They push up and down on these rod, rods and bring the upper part of the assembly to level. The servo motors are controlled by a device that can best be described as a miniature spirit level. A sensor tracks the position of the bubbles and tells the servo motors the direction they need to go to bring the bubbles to center. I'm now going to adjust the laser so it's out of level. If you listen closely, you can hear the servo motors work to bring it back to where it ought to be. It's slower than using a pendulum, but the beams are a lot steadier once they're level.